Alright, hello everyone. This is Vlogger LTF. Today is just going to be some random online shenanigans, such as uh, doing some random searches and other things to look around during the internet. Now, a while ago, I didn't have anything else to do at home since I have no plans for August, but this will be my first episode of me doing some random internet shenanigans. So today's episode is basically just going to simply read off some of the worst ever professor reviews I've ever seen a student posted against them. Some of the cases to where college students uh, have experienced worse professors is because of teaching issues, quality, and or behavior. For your information, to protect privacy, all the professors' names, college campuses, courses, and departments have all been hidden out. Other than that, Let's just simply begin. Oh, shoot, I forgot to record the first uh, professor that has a 2 out of 5 with 25% would take again and a level of 4.2 difficulty. Alright, so I looked up to one of the random professors with lower reviews. Is doctor the best professor in the department? No. Can he be condescending and his examples unhelpful sometimes? Sure. But is doctor passionate about teaching and ensuring every student understands the materials so that they may be successful? Absolutely not. I don't know where I was going with this. Okay, I understand the feeling of it, and even though the student uh, rated this as a low quality, even though it's in the mediocre difficulty, and got a B- minus from one of these overall grades. Just a side note as to keep everything private. I've used inspect element to hide some of the important info from each of those reviews. So no information shouldn't be shown throughout reading of all the negative reviews. Here's another context that could support this argument. Avoid him. For midterms and finals, he expects everything right. A single error will give you zero points. There is no partial credit. You will only pass if you are a tutor or it's your second time taking the class. Gives extra credit, but again, everything should be correct. Seems like his only interest is to promote his buggy software to students. Seems that the student rates this as the very test heavy, even though they offer extra credit, but it's still a very difficult grader from that type of professor. Here's the third one. He is super vague and will get irritated when you don't understand. Often refuses to answer questions. Is quite insulting if students aren't performing at the level expects. Will interrupt you to tell you, you you're wrong. Term project is a lot of work. More than any other class I have ever had. Seems to be his goal to make you feel stupid constantly. So I can only review up to three negative reviews per each of these worst professors. But overall this professor seems to not support students correctly even if there's a one single error and the whole course fails possibly the majority of them may have failed this course or get a bad grade out of everything so if you're not confident with these types of graders that gives you a zero for just one single error don't take it here's the next professor that i'm gonna review oh my this professor has a critical of ones and no one will ever take this professor again with a level of 4.7, almost like the absolute maximum difficulty out of every department. This is the most critical comment I've ever seen a student written. Run for the hills! You might as well switch majors or avoid taking the class if he is the only one teaching it. Insanely difficult exams, which even he gets wrong when he goes over them. Every single student ran out of time in the final and blamed it on us. If you can think you can pass this class because you'll study and work hard, you don't. This is by far the best exaggeration out of a student that dislikes the entire course if that is the only professor that teaches this. And almost a majority of them have a failing grade as much. So basically, you still run for the damn hills to get away from that professor. So this professor has 1.5 out of 5 quality ratings with only 20% would take again and a level of 4.4 difficulty. Oh man, look at the rating distribution. Almost the majority of them are absolute awful. This one's interesting. Grading makes no sense as she doesn't tell you 
her grading scale for the class. Ended with a close to 75% and got a D. So this student did get a 75% which in normal practices is a C. But for whatever reason, this professor deliberately just gave him the D for no apparent reason. Which is still a violation of each of those university or college policies. Look at this review. <laughs> it's one of the most extreme forms of grading. Do not take this professor. Attended every lecture which she taught two out of the required three days of the week. And I could have learned just as much by reading the slides. I got close to the high of every exam and she wouldn't curve them at all. Class averages rarely got above 35. She has no problem failing the whole class. You're not an exception. Basically, it's just a form of extreme grading to where class averages are just very below 35. <laughs> the department knows that this professor is doing a good job, then they should fire them in the first place and get replacement. Here's a fourth professor that has a very critical rating, 1.5 out of 5. 12% would take again and a level 4.2 difficulty. Look at the first two reviews. This is not a professor. Messy and careless material management, poor lecturing skill. Don't take her if you really want to learn. And, <laughs> and this one is one of the few to audit their grades because they can't even teach. Oh my god. God, <laughs> literally after reading almost every single negative review, almost everything that the students say looks so true here. Yes, this list goes on, and why is there a positive comment with 5 dislikes? This one reads, must have figured out how to teach properly this year because for some reason she's actually passionate about the subject material and it shows in the way she, she clearly presents the material took over a class halfway throughout the semester and gave enough opportunity to raise grades from the hits taken first half. Take notes, read code, ask questions. Sadly, not many students do agree with this statement. Possibly these are likely spammed, but uh, this is actually technically true to most of the students saying that she gets offended way too easy because of questions. Oh, look at that. They've <laughs> named the course as Structure. Every semester, there are people who say to avoid this professor, and they have a valid point. She is blatantly disrespectful and creepy to students. One thing that is annoying is she vents her frustration by insulting Jazzai's struggling students in front of the whole class. She is cocky and prides herself of failing as many students as possible. Well, in a different situation, this professor could be in some type of a violation for intentionally failing students by just simply taking advantage over students. To this day, she still teaches, but still not in a pretty good position. Here's another random professor. This one is rated 2.5, which is just half of the rating itself, with 67% would take again and 3.1 difficulty. This difficulty is just uh, in the mediocre category. So I looked through all the reviews, and this is the only review I found. It says, Reviews are not the same as this random campus. He's the worst professor I've ever taken, extremely hostile and aggressive. Grading criteria changed last minute due to him retaliating against students' complaints. Final grade doesn't reflect your knowledge in the course because of insane no partial credit grading. This guy doesn't even know what he's doing at all. So in this case, uh, retaliating by just simply changing the students' grading criteria is in fact against some school's policies. The chances of this is that any student could file complaints against professors to the deans about retaliatory grading. Basically, if the guy does not know how to teach properly, then they shouldn't be a professor. All right, here's the next professor that has 1.4 reviews with 5% with take again and 4.3 difficulty. Wow, this is such a critical comment here. Run away as fast as you can. This class required so much unnecessary work, deadlines, and assignment guidelines were always unclear, and the professor expected you to go to the writing center for every, every single assignment. Basically, in terms of what the student said, just simply flee from the classroom and drop immediately. Worst professor I ever had. Instructions posted twice, if at all, on campus and in email, and they contradict. 
she got in my face in the second week of class, called me the wrong name, and told me she expected better from me, said she loved my writing, put it on the projector, made me stand up there, and tore it apart and belittled me in front of everyone. Honestly, I have no words. This random professor that just made the student tore the whole essay in front of the whole class. That's basically off the charts. Based on those statements that the reviewer has written, having the professor make the student tear apart the entire essay is against school policies of harassment. For the student that read this review, I am so sorry about what happened with your class, but hopefully one day you should be able to find good professors after realizing the situation. Here's a tip, I would highly suggest reporting this behavior to the dean's office. That way, the department will review the system and maybe one day get her fired from the position. Seems that some people take reviews very seriously. It says, do not take her. Even if you need it, skip, drop, leave. Do not put yourself through her class. Generally one of the worst professors. I was reading these reviews like you, and I thought, oh, she can't be this bad. She was that bad and more. Picks favorites. Always put students on the spot. Expects you to know everything when she explains absolutely nothing. As far as I said, I could only read up to three views, but here's an extra one that also caught my attention. Yours truly, doctor, this professor's name is not shown, is absolutely by far the worst at this college. I dropped her last year after two days because I just knew that she was going to ruin my first semester of college. She is so accepting of people's opinions, except those that she doesn't agree with. Do yourself a favor, spare yourself from hours of torture. Alright, so I looked through the rest of the reviews, and basically this course is basically almost like a complete dictatorship, meaning that it's completely totalitarian and you can't have creativity freedom. So that's what many people have said about this type of professor. Alright, so here's another professor that has 1.5 Reviews with only 16% would take again and 4.5 difficulty. <laughs> I guess I don't always mention these rating distributions a lot because this professor has ridiculous 40 awful reviews. First one says, His answer is the only correct answer. If you do not give the examples he uses in class on exams, it is wrong. Very condescending and rude to the class. He will ask questions and never like anyone's response. The class will get annoyed and not respond at all. Then he'll say, Come on, it is not a hard question. You cannot win in this class. When colleges give professors an academic freedom, they can have corrupt intentions such as making answers the only correct answer and not allowing students utter creativity. This is a potential waste of resources against students which they will not benefit. By far, the worst professor I ever had. Professors like these make me question the education system. Look up his salary. It's gross how much he makes for how incompetent of a professor he is. He won't input grades. He will mark you down if you miss class. And his class is irrelevant anyways. That it's sad how serious he takes it. Do not take him. Again, this is another sign of professor corruption. They see gain high profit and taking advantage of students. The worst professor ever. I'm to be an A B student. This guy killed morale in class on day one. Our Discord consisted of us encouraging one another and helping each other navigate through this joke of a class. This man is rude and condescending. He sent out final grades prior to grading our final exam group presentation can't even use canvas. This one is actually another type of corruption. Destroy the environment of a class setting. Alright, so I looked up through all the reviews and basically everything that almost every other majority said is true. Basically, very complete bias with students. The answers are just very restricted to one single answer. Does not allow creativity either. Alright, just did a research of this professor. Unfortunately, he's no longer in the system. Hopefully that's all for the professor reviews and it took me quite a while to find some of the worst ones. 
Here's a tip, just make sure to ask some other students about each of those professors carefully and do some critical research before taking any of the courses. However, for privacy reasons, I had to keep things for myself is in my own personal way. But hope you guys enjoy this content of me looking up to board internet reviews. If you do enjoy some of my content, please consider following me on other social media platforms in my about page. This is Vlogger LTF, signing out.